Frankie, congratulations on your December Young Player of the Month award. How pleased are you? Thank you. Uh, yeah, very pleased. Um, sort of come with a bit of a shock, but uh, yeah, very pleased to have won it. And yeah, now just hopefully can uh, keep going and, and keep the form going. What's gone so well for you in December, do you think? Um, I think the boys have, have put in the, all the work throughout the season and coming up and we hit a good good run of form and obviously playing in a, in a team that's, that's playing well and winning games, this obviously, obviously helps. So um, yeah, that and obviously me keeping on top, on top of myself, looking after myself and uh, just can't thank the boys enough as well. I'm feeling good at the minute. Um, I think as well the position that I'm playing with the formation that we're playing, um, I'm really enjoying that. So it's, it's a new, it's a new uh, experience for me playing in that position, which I'm really, really enjoying at the minute. And so enjoying it is obviously going to make, make you play better. Just going back to the start now, um, you came to Colchester United from Arsenal, having progressed through their academy. Um, how did the move to Colchester come about? A guy that was working for Colchester uh, at my school, and I've known him for quite a few years, and he set the trial up and come down, and, and uh, I've got quite a few friends here. I had a few friends here already, so, and come down and, um, and trialled, and thankfully they, they offered me a scholarship, and it was an easy, easy decision, because of uh, it's obviously the club and obviously having friends here as well. What was it like then, moving from a big Premier League club like Arsenal and coming to an EFL club? What was that transition like for you? Um, it was a strange one, I've, I've got to be honest, it probably took me uh, quite a bit of time to get used to it. Um, obviously the football was a little bit different, um, but obviously, like I said, I went basically straight into 18's football, so I had to adapt and, and, uh, and learn the, the horrible side of the game, if I can say, um, early. But uh, yeah, no, thankfully I've just adapted and made my way through. You captained the under-18 side um, when you were younger and you also won a league title when you were captain in the under-18s. How did that help your development going into first-team football, do you think, having that sort of responsibility? It did, it did really help, obviously, knowing and, and having to be uh, one that obviously takes charge and, and tries to, to help the team as much as they can. I knew that if I obviously did get the opportunity in the first team, I'd have to just be the same and, and try and carry that through. I've had it quite quite good, obviously, going in at a young age. And I just think that it helps you because you, you gain so much experience. And even if it's playing two, three, four games, first of all, for me, it really helps because then you go down into, the, say, you go back to the 21s football and and you know the difference, you can see the difference, but um, it's really important, obviously. I've been lucky, like I said, to, to play as many games as I had and been given the opportunity here. I just want to keep on doing it and keep on playing and playing for as long as I can. As a team, you've turned a corner recently, haven't you? You've, I think in the lead up to the new year, you took 19 points from a possible 21. What's the general feel around the place? Um, the place is, is, is buzzing really at the minute. Um, we went on a bit of a dip of form, but then now the, the run's going and it's, uh, it's brilliant. Love it, loving coming in every day and, and the vibe around the place is brilliant. So we just know that we've got to keep that going and, and hopefully uh, be a good end to, the, uh, end to the season, keep it going. Past winners of this award include people like Deli Ali and Wilfred Zaha. What does it feel like to be on the same list as them? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit mad. Um, yeah, really, really privileged and, and proud of myself and just can't thank all the boys and all the management staff enough um, for helping me obviously win it. So, uh, but yeah, no, I'll take it and just keep on going. But thank you.